All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the NCAA championships going on right now, and I'm focused right here on the on the women. We got Kemba Nelson, Abby Steiner, Julian, Julian Alfred. Uh, so far, the top times Julian Alfred run a 10.90, Abby Steiner run a 10.90. There's also not featured in this photograph here, but um, Melissa Jefferson 1096, uh, Grace Wokocha 1097, probably messed up the pronunciation, and then you have Kelvin Kemba Nelson from Jamaica representing University of Oregon 10.97, and there's a couple more down this you know down the line that run running you know anywhere from 10.99 and in low 11 seconds. Who you think is gonna win this one? Um, I guess I'm going with the University of Texas runner Julian Alfred. She ran the best, looked the best, but then Kemba Nelson looked good in her heats too. She could be a spoiler. I'm sure Abby Steiner is ahead as far as the rankings of, of Kemba Nelson, but Kemba Nelson looked good and could be a shocker and win the NCAA. I think it's going to take at least, with good condition, if there's no headwind and a little help from the wind, you know, not over the legal limit, I think the women are going to run 10.79 to win the, the NCAA. If not 10.79, at least 10.80. So, I'm looking forward to this finals. That's my um, analysis for who I think is going to win. Abby Steiner, though, has great tapping speed, but she doesn't always get out the blocks. I don't think she can count on this race where everyone is running 10.9s and 10.8s, you know, that she can count on coming back. She's going to have to either get the start of her life to win. Jillian, Alfred, and Kemba Nelson always get a good start. Kemba sometimes is known to kind of fade, so that's the only reason why I think Abby Steiner might catch her. But if Abby Steiner gets out there ahead or with them, it's going to be interesting. It's possible she could be the shocker also. But let's see. That's my analysis for now. Um, I'm going to post the results of the semifinals, of the top times, and the finalists. So we'll see. If somebody's going to rise to the occasion, maybe shock the favorites. So I'm run the personal best of their, of, the, of their life for our world leading times while we focus on the international stars the college girls are on fire man so you know i'm gonna put the results i'm gonna try and at the end of this commentary put a clip of the semi-final races so you can get a look to see who you might think is going to take this for the women's 100 meter ncaa but again i'm re reiterating i'm going with julian alfred followed by Kemba, Kemba Nelson, then Abby Steiner. So, what y'all think? Who y'all think couldn't win the NCAA college women? That's it for now. Um, I'm gonna stay tuned, keep watching this space. And as I see new information come up, uh, I'll bring it to y'all attention. All right, check out the results and, and check the end of the video for the, the um, highlight NCAA clips.